हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू इंटरेक्ट विद मिस्टर प्रवीण गौतम ही इज जूनियर वर्कशॉप सुपरिटेंडेंट इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एस आर एम यूनिवर्सिटी एपी सो टुडे वी विल गोइंग टू लर्न फ्रॉम हिम व्हाट इज द सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस फॉर द लाइव असिस्टेंट इन दिस एस आर एम यूनिवर्सिटी एपी इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस एंड ऑल्सो व्हाट आर द लाइफ फैसिलिटीज salary and many more information are there so let us start so thank you sir for joining us today uh, we welcome to our channel and foundation uh, first of all we like to know about yourself your native place and uh, about your academic journey and uh, if you have any experience before joining here and these things thanks for inviting me first of all welcome myself uh, pravin i am working in srm university andhra pradesh as a junior workshop superintendent come lab assistant in the department of mechanical engineering coming to my academic background i have completed my btech in malleni permal educational societies mm-hmm. in guntur district after that i did my mtech also in st mary's group of institutions mm-hmm. in guntur only uh, after post graduation mm-hmm. i did, I, i got job in sr university I started my career here only. Okay, so you have no experience. So this was your first job. First job. Yes. Okay, so in two thousand seventeen, I got the job. Oh, you two thousand seventeen. Okay, so presently you are working here. So already you know the facilities, everything you know about this yes. university and about this department. Especially you are the lab junior workshop superintendent, the department of mechanical engineering. So you know everything. So what are the lab facilities available? for the btech student research facility you tell in this tell university me. in mechanical department mm-hmm. we have 14 laboratories okay the laboratories are workshop one is the workshop mm-hmm. engineering tools laboratory mm-hmm. and fluid mechanics laboratory mm-hmm. hydraulic machines laboratory strength of materials laboratory and uh, production technology laboratory heat transfer laboratory machine mm-hmm. design laboratory 3d printing laboratory and uh, dynamics and control mm-hmm. robotics laboratory kinematics laboratory and uh, material science okay material science technology laboratory instrumentation and uh, measurements laboratory so many laboratories are available in srm university okay. as i joined in sr uh, when i joined in srm mm-hmm. uh, there is only two laboratories okay then 2017 okay okay now the mechanical department is established with 14 laboratories okay so in between this five year it has yes. grown to the 2 to 14 yes okay, okay that, that is, is well equipped with all the instruments yes so now pravin so already you have told the lab facility in the department of mechanical engineering so you have told it uh, in very clear way so now what is your work profile in here every laboratory has particular type of equipments mm. first of all my job is uh, i have to keep every equipment is in very good condition mm. okay that is your first um, job yeah okay if any equipment get repairs mm. i want to uh, i want to check uh, weekly twice or uh, once uh, all equipment are working or not okay. any equipment is troubled of our uh, any uh, any equipment is uh, getting repair i want mm-hmm. to check uh, uh, weekly twice oh, after okay. checking if any equipment gets repair mm-hmm. i will inform to i i need to inform to uh, my higher authorities mm-hmm. head of the departments or concerned faculty members okay then uh, they will get approval for the repair and the uh, uh, repair process mm-hmm. okay so that is your work that is one of the job role Right. and after that i wa- i have i will maintain all the records of uh, laboratories mm-hmm. log books equipment mm-hmm. log books and uh, student uh, student profile log books mm-hmm. and uh, attendance student attendance log books if uh, when students come uh, to the labs they need to signature in mm-hmm. uh, log books okay. i have to maintain that log books and uh, all log books i will maintain okay so apart from this other uh, role you have means you are also a uh, lab assistant during the practical exam and also 
I have seen uh, you are also a uh, concert concert when practical is going on. Means in weekly we have the practicals for different different labs. So you are the concert person. Yes. So to assist us. Yes. Okay. So so you have many roles. Yes. Okay. So apart from assisting us, any other work you are doing? Any other work role you have? Other works means I will helping to students in relating. Related uh, projects, uh, faculty related projects. I will help them. Okay. I will assist them to uh, head of the department, HODs and faculty members also. Oh, okay. So apart from the practical uh, yes. classes, you are assisting in projects also. Students, yes. uh, here students are doing the different different projects. Different, different types uh, regularly of Regularly they are doing yes. like senior professors and professor already are doing. Okay. So that you are helping. That is very good. Now, Pravin, already you have told your Uh, working role, so different working role you have already we have seen. Now uh, you tell that is most important. I think uh, every aspirant want to know that. What is the selection process here for the lab assistant or you can say junior lab assistant? You can know. what is the selection process? The selection process is very simple here. First of all, you have to send your resume to HR department. They will uh, segregate the resumes. Uh, if first of all you have to uh, come with uh, any mechanical background, okay, that is graduation. Important. That is most important. That is most important. Okay, we have to say after sending your CV to HR, mm-hmm. they will conduct a first round of interview for you. Uh, just uh, introduction about yourself. They will uh, consider your communications. If you perform well, they will forward your CV to. Which head of the department. Mm-hmm. Okay, then you will uh, selected for second round of interview. Okay, so first will be your HR round, and then after there will be second round. That is the technical round. Then they will send your resume to the HOD. Then what after that? What If your happen? resume will be shortlisted, mm-hmm. the your resume will forwarded to uh, departmental head of the department. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then they will conduct a technical round. Okay. Okay. The technical round will take care about uh, uh, all fundamentals of uh, mechanical related subjects. Okay. okay. Here uh, the technical round will take care uh, concern faculty members and head of the department. The panel members are will take care. Okay. Yes. So uh, that is uh, now you have done M Tech. Yes. So, what is the eligibility criteria? Means, what the uh, degree a aspirant should have? Minimum degree. They should have BBA. Minimum B Tech or BA Mechanical is required. Okay, B Mechanical or B Tech Mechanical is required. That is minimum degree. Okay, so now the that is also important. What I have seen in many colleges, uh, the local candidates are picked up. Here also the same thing. Sir, my university always will prefer uh, only workable candidates or okay. talented people. Most mm-hmm. of the, but most of the lab technicians are here working uh, local people only. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So, if you are talented, means you will get selected. But actually, here is more of the people are means more of the technicians are local. Yes, but. There is not such a criteria. If you are talented, you will get selected. Yes. Probably the applicants are from here. Yeah, uh, probably the applicants are from here only. That's why they are getting selected. Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is. Now the also very important question is what is the salary and what is the hike? Means you are getting promotion salary hike okay. is there or not? Your salary will based upon your experience. First of all, okay. If you have more experience, your salary will be more. Okay. okay. Coming to the hike, uh, HR department will take the rating from the head of the department every mm-hmm. year. Okay. Okay. Every academic year, they will take the rating of every employee. Okay. Based upon that rating, they will give appraisal for you. Oh. The maximum hike will be five to seven percent will be there. Okay. Based on the performance. Based on the performance only, they will give hike. So you are satisfied with your performance salary. Compared to uh, joining in my career, now I am satisfied. 
Oh, that is very good. You are yeah. happy here, you enjoying here. Yes. Uh, so you have already been uh, working here since a long. Uh, you are already experienced person here. So what you what you are seeing that what is the workload here? Working hour here in Nasrallah uh, University. Work timing. Uh, compared to other universities, here the workload will be not that much of heavy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the workload will be uh, weekly 20 to 25 hours only. Mm -hmm. okay. In end of the semester, you will get uh, examination duties and uh, on that time you will struggle for a little bit. Okay, so workload is not that much high. In week, uh, one week you are telling that 25 to 30 hours maximum. 20 to 25 hours. Uh, 20 to 25 hours. That also includes uh, practical classes, the project work, uh, you are helping yeah. the students, you are assisting, the, everything it is yes. included. Yeah, everything oh, is included. So that is very good. Yes. And that is very good. So, so uh, what is your uh, future plan after uh, you are already in uh, university? Do you have any future plan, long term plan? My future plan is I want to uh, join in PhD. Hmm. I want to be, I want to join PhD and uh, after that I want to becoming a professor. Okay, okay that is a very good plan. Yeah. And also you have done M Tech, so you are eligible also. Yes. Now we have come to the last point. That is, uh, already you have experience, you are working here, so know everything about this university. So what will be your suggestion to the aspirants who wish to join SRM? If you got offer from SRM University, uh, you don't think twice. Simply come and join. Here the work culture and atmosphere and everything will be very good. And the mm. faculty also. Uh, supporting you higher authority is also supporting you here no doubt it helps you out. okay so that is very good suggestion means you are satisfied here you are enjoying here word culture timing everything you are satisfied yes so that is your suggestion to the aspirants so i am coming from pratipadu okay. uh, here to pratipadu 45 kilometers approximately okay daily i am coming from pratipadu 45 kilometers i Okay, uh, by bus. By bus. College bus is yes. provided to you at a studio of cost. I will start in Pratipadu 7 o'clock. Okay. Uh, Pratipadu to Guntur, I will come by bike. After that, uh, I will catch the yes. bus. bus. University bus. Okay. And I will travel in bus. Oh, okay. So daily you are doing this? Yes. I will reach at home at uh, evening 7.15. And uh, and uh, Saturday Sunday you are getting uh, Saturday holiday. Sunday is holiday here. That is a very good very good thing. Mm. I will relax on Saturday Sundays. Mm. That is very good thing. So now uh, thank you, uh, Praveen. You have interacted with us and given a valuable information to the parents mm -hmm. who wish to join SRM University, especially for the live assistant job or you can say workshop superintendent so they will definitely get benefit from this interaction they will learn from you because you are an experienced person already five years you are working here so uh, you are the best person so it will definitely help them and they will get benefit thank so you. once again thank you for interacting with us thank thanks you. for giving this opportunity